Hi, I'm Joy Hubert, this is SMG Source. I'm joined by Adrian Muni, Vice President of Regions EMEA. Thank you very much for joining us today, and thank you very much for joining our workshop at Advertising Media. Pleasure, it was good. Um, just wanted to ask you a couple of questions uh, out of that uh, workshop. We've talked about social media a lot. Has it made it easier or more difficult for you to interact with your consumers as a brand? Yeah, we're, we're really proud of the work we've done um, with Media Vest on social media and Liquid Thread. Um, you now we have a, an incredible operation where there's a huge amount of content that runs daily. Um, that gets people into the, the site, tries to get people to bring their friends into the site, um, and we've done some pioneering things. You know, we have 400,000 likes on Facebook, um, which is the most of any tea brand. And the, the really interesting thing for us is that you know, tea tends to be an older product. You know, the majority of people that drink tea are over 65, and you wouldn't expect them to be using things like social media. So we've had to use it to try and get people into the market because we have a leaky bucket you know there are people moving out the market and not so many people coming in and social media is a great way of doing that um, especially in, in London and the South East which we've, we've worked on over the past year and there's been for me some real great highlights we've done uh, something called catch up project where people can showcase a lovely piece of history trading through Facebook with their friends we've done things like brew map where you can find out whether you're you know a hot spot of brewing tea which is you know it's quite funny but it's been quite competitive I've been on that. it's been quite competitive around the regions um, and and farmers first hand so we've, we've we've shown for those people who want to know a little bit about where the products from whether we have good quality you know, whether we treat our farmers ethically we allow them to speak we give them blackberries and they can actually post on Facebook under Farmers First Hand, which is a tab on Tetley, um, to give people a first-hand view of what it's like in the Kenyan plantations. You can actually see where your tea is being grown and have confidence that the people growing it for you are, you know, are being treated well and have got a fair living and are, and are really, really happy. Speech of the real people, which is... A, exactly, yeah, and there's some real characters out there that you know, um, want to have a laugh along with you and they interact as well. So not, no one else really offers that, that sort of provenance, but you know, with a bit of personality. That's excellent. And obviously we in Britain love our tea, but you have a much bigger region to look after um, as Tata. Um, yes. What's, uh, what's keeping you busy at the moment? Well, Tata Global Beverages is um, a sizable business. Tetley is the flagship brand. Um, Tetley is worth about half a billion pounds globally. But we are number three. You know, number two is Twinings and number one is Lipton. So our challenge is to try and make Tetley relevant for each market. And I don't think we'll, we'll use a, an approach that Lipton have used where everything's yellow and very formulaic in each market. I think we will look at local insight, understand what our brand can offer and how we can mesh those two together. So just recently we've obviously done Make Time Make Tech in the UK where people aren't spending so much time together having a quality cuppa yeah. and that, that's working. But in the Middle East it's very much focused around our product which is a drawstring which squeezes the tea out. And the, the benefit of that of getting more flavour out works hand in hand for example with the sort of movement for Arab Spring in the Middle East so you know people are, are wanting change and want to get more out of life so you know squeeze more out of life squeeze more, squeeze more out of Tetley is a more sort of functional clear benefit to be offered to consumers there. So it's arguably your, your um, sort of strength is going for the insight, local insight and tailoring your message to sort that, suit that rather than an all-encompassing, all this it, is what the Indeed, and, like. and we'll use like nodes of expansion. So, you know, in the Middle East, we'll, we'll expand from there and South Africa will expand from there. And we're, we're very strong in the UK, in France, in Canada, India as a growing brand, and Australia. So we've got some good nodes to expand from there. But it will take some time, but that, that's the challenge for us going forward, as well as grow other things. So in, in my portfolio too, we have, we have coffee and water, uh, and other things, you know, w which are good for you beverages, which we think we can grow. That's brilliant. Thank you very much for your time. That's a pleasure. Thanks a lot.